Hey guys, it's Agustin Delmar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be continuing the videos on AR Foundation. I actually found a way to support AR Foundation with VFX Craft and I want to thank Dan Miller for allowing us to find that out because he's actually the one who posted it in social media, so I wanna thank him for that. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna walk you through the repository that he created in GitHub. We're gonna be looking at some of the components that he has, and also are going to be trying it on my device. So make sure that you stay tuned because by the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how it looks and how it performs. So let's jump into Unity and I start looking at it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, which is to look at Dan Miller's repository, who was able to get VFX graph running in AR Foundation, and this is an example of what he did and actually how it looks on the device. So I'm really excited because I tried to do this on previous versions of, of Unity and it didn't work, it wasn't compatible, and he recently released basically a tweet saying that he was able to make it work and it's now supported in beta. So go ahead and check him out. He's a XR evangelist for Unity and he focuses on augmented reality and virtual reality. So I just wanted to thank him for doing this for the community. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm going to be cloning his repo and we're gonna be looking at what he has set up and then also we're gonna be running this on my iPhone XS device and I'm gonna show you you know, what, I, what I'm getting as an outcome. So I'm gonna be able to do this if everything works and then in the future videos, I'm going to be bringing in all the different examples that I have for VFX Craft in my YouTube channel, which is about 20 different, 20 different examples of visual effects graph and then we're going to be bringing them into AR Foundation. So it's going to be really cool so I just want you to know that so that you know what to expect from these from this video and then also the upcoming videos. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clone it. So I'm just going to go into here to my Unity folder and then I'm just going to do the clone and download it. So while this downloads I'm going to also tell you which version he's using so I went into the, what it actually says here on the very, on the readme file, the version that he's using is 2019.3.0 beta 7. So make sure that you're, you know, make sure that you have that version. Also some information about this that is really important. This is only supported in ARKit because VFX Graph currently only works with Meta, Metal and Vulkan rendering. So. AR Core does not currently support Vulkan, so if you guys have questions about that, at least as, as of now, it's only supported by AR Kit. And then they're also using, he's also using preview packages. And this is one of the reasons I sent him a tweet, is because I know that you have to use very specific packages because that's when Unity, you know, is making some of those packages compatible. So that's what we're gonna be using is, is in the future videos, we'll create a project and then we'll use this as the starting point of what we need to do. So let me look at the progress here. It looks like we have everything everything cloned. So I'm gonna go into my beta here, which I already installed. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and install it, pause the video, and then come back to it and make sure that you also have the the iOS support, which I have. So I'm gonna go into projects. I'm gonna go and go ahead and add that project. And we're gonna look at AR Foundation VFX. Click on open. And it's gonna ask us, you know, it's actually not gonna ask us yet, but this is the version that is built on. So if you didn't have this version, if you have a future version, it's gonna ask you for upgrade. And going to, if you have a future version, it might not work or it might work, but I just want you to know that this is the version that we're running right now. And then if it doesn't work for you, let me know and then I can I can take a look as well. All right, so the, the version that I'm gonna do, the platform that I'm gonna use is iOS, of course. And then now that we have all of those set correctly, I'm just gonna click on it so that it opens up. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the project as a whole, see what he has set up. And then, and it says right here, like some of the things amazing that we're gonna be looking at is gonna be the AR VFX scene. So that's the first one that we're gonna look at and then also know that 2019.3.0 B7, it's going to have a completely new UI because Unity just recently released a, a completely new revamp on their UI, especially, especially on the beta versions. It hasn't released on the stable versions yet, but it will as soon as they get out of beta on 2019.3. So we should almost be done here. 
And then if you haven't looked at the videos for VFX trial, let me just show you where those ones are. So you can take a look at some of the effects that we're going to be bringing in while the while the project hey guys, opens. Going? This is Dylan, to let me go into playlist and then make sure that you're looking. And this is my kid, of course, looking at looking at uh, kids videos. <laughs> and let's see. So I'm going to go into some of the videos that I have. So these are some of the playlists that I have. And I don't see it in here. I'm going to, what I'll do instead, I'll just link it in the description of this video. And then that way you know you know where it is. And it normally should show, and for some reason it hasn't shown, I'll, I'll basically just link it. So let's get back into, into Unity and see the progress. And we should almost be done here. And like I said, I mean, there's a lot of different effects and things that you can do with VFX Craft and and I tried to do this before and I couldn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'll just continue on the video as soon as this is finished so that you don't, we don't waste any more time looking at the asset progress. All right guys, so it looks like this finished importing and the project is now open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at everything that he has. You can now notice that there's a lot of different things in here because I'm using the latest version, the beta version of Unity. So it's gonna get me some time to get used to it, to be honest. I really like the previous version and, and I'm not a fan of this one yet, but I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm not going to like it. It's just, you know, I'm not used to it. So the scene that he mentioned in the documentation was called VFX. So we're going to go and search for VFX and it looks like it's located under assets and VFX. So we can just go to that folder and see what's in there. So some of the things that he has is going to be is the test VFX. And you can see that Unity now has this really cool option where you can see the VFX running in the scene. So if I double click it, it should open up the VFX graph as well. It's going to compile and open it up and then there we go. So we can see, we can probably just take a look at the graph. If I can get this to, maybe we'll just snap it in here. It's going to be a lot easier to work with. And then, so we're not going to go through this graph and it's actually a pretty simple graph, but I, I just want you to know that that's available if you want to look at it, if you want to tweak it. This is the graph that we're using that Dan created for us. And then what I'm gonna do is just double click on the scene and then we can look at the scene. So we're pretty familiar with how the Air Foundation, you know, is set up based on the previous videos. If you haven't watched my previous videos, make sure that you do that. But we looks like he has the AR session, AR session origin. He also has the origin attached here, just like we know, the airplane manager, so we can do horizontal plane detection also AR, AR Cloud Manager, an AR Raycast Manager, play some, play some Plane, and then also a VFX Compatibility Check. He mentioned something in the documentation about that. And AR Core doesn't support Vulkan, okay, because of this, I've added a small script, which checks the current graphics device and enables. Okay, so this is just a small UI that he has, just in case the device doesn't support it. So thank you for doing that, Dan, that's really cool. And then he just has a you know a small, probably in the canvas, something really simple that just tells you if it's supported or not. And we can probably just look at it here really quick. And that's what it's gonna show if the current device is not supported. If, it, if it's supported, you're gonna see the VFX and then you're gonna be able to move your device around and have the, the anchors in place. All right, so it looks like that's everything that he has, just a couple of scripts. The component that we're gonna be placing is gonna be this VFX root. And what I want to do is I just want to look at it and see what he has. And this is that effect that he showed in his video. So it looks really cool. Thank you, Dan. This looks awesome. So I just wanted to say thank you again because I think, you know, people like you that are helping in the community, it's, it's just great to have, you know, I normally create all these by myself, but it's really great to have somebody that can, you know, help out as well. So this is that effect and it's really cool. So I'm going to be building these two devices and then we can see how it looks on the device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into file, build settings, and then it looks like he already added this scene as a build. And then everything else should be just as it is. We're gonna go into build. And then I'm just gonna name the project that I'm gonna be building VFX scene, or we can just call it VFX example. I think that's fine. Hit save. And as soon as this is done, I'm going to be showing you how it looks on my device. All right guys, so let me show you the demo and I actually was blown away with the results. So let me go ahead and play it. So you can see that the planes are getting drawn and we're getting particle 
effect showing and this actually looks stunning so i'm pretty happy with the results and again i wanted to thank dan for putting this together and on the next videos i'm going to be bringing in like i said in the beginning a lot more effects which i created with previous versions of vfx craft so let's go ahead and look at that in the future and again thank you very much for watching the video all right guys thank you much for watching this video today i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what i just showed you please let me know in the comments also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers and also find me in patreon.com where i'm basically posting information about what i'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code thank you very much guys